hit a button there and stopped filming. <laughs> so this is a continuation. Your thoughts? Um, it's the same as walking and standing. I still feel a little bit of soreness. Uh huh. But it's not as intense as it was. Very good. I spend a lot of time driving. Yes. So this is a familiar position. Yes, yes. And I find myself squirming my left leg around trying to find a position that's comfortable. Uh huh. But this feels pretty comfortable now. Good, good. So we've made some improvement. And uh, I removed the camera from the tripod. I'm going to try and put it back in there. Let's see if I can do this without, <laughs> without impacting it, without setting it off. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I want you to bring your feet and your knees together. So when you sit, your left femur is taller. It's, at, it's probably due to the tibia. <coughs> the, the right femur is more forward. So we have a long femur on, on the right, and we have a taller lower leg. I can feel it through the femur. And, and when you lay on your back or when you stand up, those should balance each other's out. So you have a difference of leg length of the top and bottom leg bones, but they equal out when you're laying on your back and when you, and when you stand. Okay. But when you sit, there's a difference. You with me? Uh -huh. Okay. So my curiosity is if I put something under the right trochanter, the outside of the right hip, if I put something underneath that, does it change that? And what I see is that it raises you on, on this side. You now look equal in terms of height, and you, but you still look long on that side. Does that alter your sitting comfort at all? No. No, okay, so I wouldn't worry about that. If we put something under the left choke counter I always test both sides because you, you never know what kind of a response you're going to get. Um, I see the same pattern of you being taller on this side and it lengthens this femur. And now the left femur is actually longer. So I don't think you need that under the left side. How does it feel sitting on it? It doesn't bother me. It feels like I'm sitting on something. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like I'm more comfortable. No. no. Okay, so you don't need it. But sometimes that's kind of the final piece for people who have discomfort in sitting. Right. Um, I've been in trucks that don't have the greatest seats. I right. experimented with a pillow behind my back. Okay. Because I feel like the bucket seat will make me do that. Yes, uh-huh. I don't want to be like that. Right, you want to be as upright as you can, yeah. All righty. Well, this concludes my video on an oblique downslip pattern of the left ilium. And this is a very rare pattern, and therefore I thought it was worthwhile to post that on YouTube. And it takes oblique springing of the hemipelvis um, to discover it and treatment is very straightforward and very easy and what I'm going to do now when I stop filming is teach you a self-treatment for it. So Great. thank you very much. Thank you. Yep.